on um, with my Tuesday tips uh, to talk about why I think you should be emailing your list right now. So I'm, um, I know we've had a lot of our inboxes overwhelmed with COVID this, coronavirus that, and everything else. Um, and, you know, from every single person, I don't know, from our dog walkers to um, uh, every single industry and company possible has sort of let us know what, what they're doing in coronavirus time. So I'm not talking about that kind of email. I feel like those emails have come and gone. Yes, we want to hear from our kids' school about what they're doing. Yes, we want to have updates from our government officials. But the type of email I'm talking about, um, particularly with my sort of clients and writer friends, is uh, a, a how you can be of, of service email. So a lot of people seem to still be struggling with they don't want to bother people or they, you know, they don't want to seem tone deaf. And and I think this is similar to the conversation we had last week or the tip from last week is um, it's OK to be sharing your content and your expertise right now. Uh, I agree with the concern about being tone deaf, but I think that can easily be handled handled uh, if you're considering. I mean, if you're thinking about how to um, be of service. So. Let's not worry about the tone deaf right now. And let's just talk about that idea of not wanting to bother people or overcrowding somebody's somebody's email box uh, or email inbox. If, if somebody is on your email list, that means at some point they signed up and willingly acknowledged that they would like to hear from you in their email inbox. So this idea that you might be bothering somebody um, couldn't be further from the truth. These people signed up to hear from you and they haven't heard from you potentially in four weeks, six weeks, or in the situation with one of my clients, they haven't heard, she hasn't reached out to her email list for a year. So let's not, you're not going to be a bother. What I challenge you to think about is what message, what are you doing? How would you be of service? What are you offering? Let's think about what people who've signed up to get an email from you would most like to hear right now. What are they struggling with? What problems are they facing? What, and then what would you like to share with them? Can you answer those problems? Uh, what have you been up to that might be helpful for them to know? It could be personal and vulnerable. It could also be you've seen your client struggling with this, therefore you created a package, a download, tips, um, so I, I think about what they're most struggling with right this minute or what their challenges might be or what you might be struggling with or seeing or trends that you think would be helpful to them. And then with regard to what how you would position it in an email, um, of course, you should be sensitive. I would personalize it and I would honor, you know, that these are quote unquote uncertain times or unprecedented times that we're in. But then make it really, really easy in your email um, to share the information you want to share, whether it's an offer, whether it's a product or something new you've created, and make it very clear how you can help them. Is it literally of just a link to an article? Or is it that you're offering maybe a free consultation? Make that button really clear and easy. Is it a matter of um, wanting them to interact? Maybe you're offering a survey and you're, you're sort of, um, surveying your audience to see what problems and challenges they're having. So it doesn't have to be long. It doesn't have to be um, solving all the world's problems. But think about how you, what the message or help or services that your list would really like to hear from you. And get that message out there. Fire up that list and send your email. Uh, I promise you, um, people are spending more time online. They're trying to out how to either do things to make life better for themselves or their family or their business. And for the most part, I'm sure you have a list, especially my writer friends and clients, where they can be of service there. So that's your PSA for today. Send that email list, um, send that email out to let your your peeps know what you're up to and how you can be of help. I know you'll be sensitive personal way. And um, let me know if you have any questions or are stuck getting that email out. But I promise um, this isn't this isn't spam advice. It's good good business practice and good connection advice. Take care. Thanks. Bye.